my name is John Oliver. I'm the CEO of Homestart Finance. Homestart's owned by the South Australian Government. We've been in operation for 30 years and during that time we've helped over 71,000 people into home ownership. Homestart is a low deposit lender. So there's a number of ways that we're different to mainstream financial institutions. As a low deposit lender, uh, that means that people can get into home ownership with a lower level of deposit, in some cases uh, from as little as 3%. So to give you an example, if, if you were looking to buy a $300,000 house, the deposit we would require is about $9,000. Plus, you then have to meet other considerations like stamp duty and some of the conveyancing costs. But our role is to be a low deposit lender to get people into home ownership sooner. One of the things that we often find is that people automatically discount themselves from being able to buy a home. Don't do that. Pick up the phone and talk to us because in many cases people assume that they're not going to be eligible for a loan when in fact they are. Homestart lends to people from all backgrounds. We lend to single parents with kids, we lend to couples. Actually about 40% of our customers, their main income stream is Centrelink. We lend to more mature people. So there is no personal criteria that you come to Homestart with that would knock you out. However, there are some things that you would benefit from doing before coming to see Homestart. And that would be if you've got a lot of credit card debt, work towards reducing that. If you're using payday lenders, perhaps consolidate those, pay that down and come in so that basically you are relatively debt free. You don't have to be debt free, but the amount of other external debts that you have will impact on the actual amount that we can lend to you. One of the areas that Homestart is really uh, focused on at the minute is construction lending. Um, first home buyers, if they're going to build their own house or buy a house and land package, are eligible for the state government's first home owner's grant and that's $15,000. Now we take that into account as part of some of those upfront costs and that enables people to, to get into that home a little bit sooner and a little bit more cheaply. The type of information that you would normally bring in for us to consider a loan application would be simply things like your income history, uh, details of all of your expenses, your living expenses, any other financial commitments that you might have, personal loans or credit cards, your rental history over the, generally over the last 12 months, and then bank statements that give us an indication of your ability to save. The interview is normally about two hours. Subject to all of the information that we require to assess the loan, that process normally takes us about seven to 10 days. At, at Homestart, we can help you into a new home, a house and land package, but we're also there for people who want to buy an apartment, a townhouse, or an established house in the suburbs. If you are in the market and you have found a house, ensure that you sign any contract subject to finance and then come and see us. But if you haven't found a house and you choose to, you can come and see us for a pre-approval and that will give you some certainty around how much you can borrow and the type of house and the suburb that you can afford to live in. Uh, we have a strong focus in providing home finance in regional areas, in places like Mount Gambier, up in the Riverland, up around the Iron Triangle, Wyala, Port Pirie, etc. Port Lincoln. Anybody from anywhere in South Australia can come and approach Homestart for a home loan. Our vision for Homestart is to make home ownership a reality for more people in more ways. And that comes about in terms of the types of products that we offer, the types of people that we're able to help. And so we're continually focusing on how do we actually create that opportunity for people to get into home ownership and be just that little bit different from what mainstream financial institutions may think about.